First, with the start of Hanukkah less than two weeks away, a Nassau synagogue is in the midst of a legal battle. It's all over the land it uses for a public menorah lighting. News 12's Kevin Vesey spoke with the rabbis, joining us live from that property in Atlantic Beach. What's going on, Kevin? Well, Doug, this menorah right here behind me that you can see lit up in blue, it recently went up here on Park Street close to the Atlantic Beach Bridge. Now, the property the menorah is on is owned by a synagogue called Chabad of the Beaches in nearby Long Beach. But the village of Atlantic Beach now wants to take that property away using eminent domain. And some are questioning the village's motivation. We were shocked. Rabbi Ellie Goodman says he thought his temple, Chabad of the Beaches in Long Beach, would be welcomed with open arms when they purchased this property last year in nearby Atlantic Beach. But instead, he says the village is trying to take the land away, claiming eminent domain. It's just a strain on, on, on our organization in many, many ways. The temple wants to use the property as a community center and to hold worship. And they say the village had no interest in taking the land away until they held a menorah lighting one year ago. All of a sudden, after that property being vacant for a number of years, they wanted to seize that property. Jeremy Dice is an attorney representing the temple in a federal case. He says this is a matter of religious freedom. The village of Atlantic Beach is denying the very promise of the Constitution of the United States of America to Rabbi Goodman and his group to be able to freely exercise their faith on the very property that they own. Nobody from the village would speak with us, so we tried meeting the mayor at his house. I'm sorry to bother you. Hey, I'm not interested. But he wouldn't comment either. A statement on the village's website says the plan for the land is to build a year-round community center with recreational facilities. The mayor also wrote, Chabad of the Beaches has alleged in its lawsuit that the village's efforts to acquire 2025 Park Avenue was motivated by discrimination. We strongly deny this accusation. So at this point, the case is wrapped up in the courts. That means the village cannot move forward trying to take the land away. And Doug, it also means that the synagogue cannot move forward working on the property it purchased more than a year ago. Wow, more to come on that for sure. Kevin, we see the menorah, obviously, what's happening with the public planned lighting. Yeah, so they're going to light the menorah every night of Hanukkah as normal, but there's also going to be a large gathering to light the menorah on Tuesday, December 20th, and the synagogue says that they do have all the proper permits in place from the village to have that large gathering. Doug?